big women don't give a fuck about no privacy, about no motherfucking family, about, you know what they care about? BBLs. Bitch, they care about building uh, a bunch of followers online. They care about they motherfucking high lash businesses. Bitch, they don't give a fuck. They care about their kids having on designer and keeping up with the rest of the kids at the school. They don't give no fucks about these kids reading levels. They don't give a damn about if the children are passing in a right grade or doing something with themselves when they graduate high school. <laughs>
you know, in this day and age, she ain't gonna do nothing but label you as trash because nobody wants to be trashed by themselves, right? So now, the people you chose to bring into your life refer to you as trash, as nothing, as nobody, as a deadbeat, as a bullshitter, as, you know, everything that you don't want to be labeled. Then when you look up, every time we turn around in the music and in what we uplift on these platforms is a bunch of hood rat shit. They encouraging young women to be thoughts and hood rats and dumb bitches and hoes that don't give a fuck and all that. All that. Yeah, y'all niggas be, y'all be investing time in these hoes, attention. Like, I'm, I'm, so, so let me put it to y'all like this. And this is coming from a woman that was raised by her mother and her father. Like, I got plenty of, you know, males in my family, uncles, cousins, brothers that was a part of my upbringing just as well as aunties. And I'm not one of them women that was only raised by women. So I don't understand the value of a man, right? And so the problem is y'all bring these bitches into y'all life. Y'all entertain them. Y'all bring them around y'all family. Y'all, you know, procreate with them. Y'all get in spaces where these hoes know a lot about y'all. And then they turn around and use that to tell you to fuck down. Then y'all be in a space in y'all life where as a man, you damn near get to a state of apathy with yourself. You feeling sorry for yourself as a man. But bro, at the end of the day, these is the type of mindsets and women that y'all entertain. When y'all come across a woman that ain't on all that shit, a lot of times you niggas be done fucked over. And a lot of y'all gotta be accountable. You did that, my boy. You had a bitch that was in your corner that wasn't on all that fuck shit, and you fucked over it. For the first ass that ran across your screen that was willing to DM you back. Just how I'm saying it. I'm saying this because y'all gotta understand as men, right? You gotta have some sort of sense of who you are and what you want, what type of reputation you want for yourself as a man first. You got to have that first. If you don't, you're going to be out here on what these bitches is on. This is why a, a lot of y'all niggas getting called sassy by women and shit. Because you out here and you don't even realize you done watch the shit that bitches done watch so much. You damn near conforming to female ideology and mindset and emotions on shit. You can't stop being distracted. You can't stay focused if you don't got no discipline. You can't have discipline if you don't have no shit that you care about being consistent about as a man outside of a third party or a second party. You got to have some shit that as an individual man, I care about this shit. I care about this. I don't give a fuck if a bitch care about it. I don't give a fuck if my mama care about it. I don't give a fuck if my daddy care about it. This is something for myself as a man I care about. And then off of caring about this shit, it becomes something that you work at and build on, you you chip away at, you add to, you alter for, you change, you move around. It becomes something that as you pick people, as you interact with women, it all is for the, the sake of adding to my thing that I give a fuck about, that I'm willing to be disciplined for. A lot of you niggas need to, to, to blow off some steam and get yourself out off of the internet and out of these whole spaces. Bro, go work out. Go get in the gym. Go get you a gold book. Go start writing out some shit you working on. Go pull your credit score up. Go start working on that as a man. Go add some shit to your credit profile. Go go look into picking up an extra stream of income. Go look at building yourself a side hustle. Go start researching for yourself through the court system what you need to do to actually exercise your rights as a father to be able to get a better relationship with your children. It'll help you with your self-esteem because a lot of y'all niggas, you're not standing on business and going after the stuff as a man that is going to help build you up in your inner. Like y'all need to start moving on stuff that have to do with you being more stable as a man. And I'm saying this because a lot of you niggas, you was raised by a woman that got this same trash ass mindset. She ran your daddy off or made it where you don't have a relationship with him based on supporting her and her fucked up mentality and her fucked up self-esteem from her traumas and, and generational curses. And it works. It does work. It does work. Any grown man to tell you, when I have some shit I'm working on for myself, that shit make me move different. It make me think different. It make me view situations and process shit different. It's, it's, it's a... There is a sense of loss, right? And what I mean by that is, there is a sense of, okay, for a lot of y'all, y'all don't realize in our community, a lot of us are growing up with, with, with this hole because we, we missing that relationship with the other side. 
And for a lot of you as men, you don't realize that's what's going on with you. You never had real men around you to teach you how to be disciplined about something that you care about outside of a woman. When you get your own goals going for yourself as a man, you start to care about your own stability. This is when you start to see men give a fuck about having their own place instead of, instead of staying with a bitch where every time she mad, she can put you out. This is when you see men start caring about their credit and their own name. And they're not just worrying about giving their money and their assets away to a bitch. Like in order to get access to that, in order for him to actually give you enough attention to feel like you matter in his life, to even claim him or brag about dealing with this nigga or brag about what you're getting, you actually got to earn access to that because the man got some sort of sense of value and loyalty to the things he built. But a lot of y'all niggas out here, you ain't building shit. You ain't building shit for yourself. I'm talking about shit outside of these women. You ain't building shit. And most of y'all been raised by a woman. Women be baby and niggas. They raise daughters and baby niggas. You got to understand as a man, you got to get out in life and complete, compete, excuse me, to bring that inner dog out of you. You got to get out in life and you got to compete with yourself. You got to compete with niggas that's on your same peer level. You got to be able to be social enough and man enough to get game from niggas older than you. You also got to care enough and be mature enough and, you know, enough of a grown man to be able to give game to the niggas coming up under you. You got to have some shit as a man you stand on outside of all this scattered ass that hoes throwing at y'all every day. And bitches is not teaching their sons this. They're not. A female can't teach a man how to be a man. These hoes delusional, believing they're raising a good product without a man around. This is the problem now. You got to get around men. You got to build male resources for yourself. Y'all sit around with a bunch of bitches all day because it feel comfortable because you was raised by a woman all your fucking upbringing. And then y'all sit around and y'all let these women influence y'all mindset. Y'all let them persuade y'all on things. And, and females in this day and age, they mindset be trash. Trash. Y'all don't see what's going on? Just check my page. Look at the videos I post just on practical shit. These hoes get so upset just by logical, practical truth that can be proven with facts. Y'all listening to these bitches on what type of father to be, on what type of man to be, on how to go about life, bruh, bruh, come on. Come on, my G. It's statistically proven that single mothers produce the worst fucking product when we talk about raising a human being. The worst product. These bitches will hear me say this. Go Google it. Read it. It comes up on hundreds of different platforms. It's a statistical fact. These bitches every day will still turn around and do the same shit you see celebrities doing right now. It's just me and my baby. I'm going to raise mine by myself. Oh my God, I need this. Just me and my child finna fuck the child up because they trying to use the child to fill an emotional void within them. These women trauma filled, toe the fuck up, broken, scarred, scorned, got a single mama mentality from they broke down ass single mama mentality that come from the late 60s, or early 70s when they fucking had us replace the fucking father in the household, replace the concept of marriage with motherfucking welfare. This is when you bitches' parents and great-grandparents started to believe that it's better to get some food stamps, some fucking housing and cash assistance than actually building a family unit with a man. And this is why the, the youth is turning out to be trash and more trash and more trash.